If you actually understand mathematics, you ought to be able to grade this problem and tell me if this solution is right. So here is the problem. We have a triangle with sides 3, 4, and x, and we're trying to determine this uh, length right here, x. So here is the solution. We have x squared plus 3 squared is equal to 4 squared. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. So to solve for x, we're going to uh, subtract 9 from both sides of the equation. That gives us x squared is equal to 7. And then to find x, we're going to take the square root of both sides. So x is equal to the square root of 7. Okay, so is this solution correct to this problem? What do you think? Now, it could possibly be correct. Maybe this is like a trick uh, problem or a trick little video here. But uh, there could certainly be errors. Maybe one, maybe two. So what do you think? Is this right? Well, if you know, put that into the comment section. I'm going to tell you if this is correct. And if it's not, I'm going to reveal any potential errors. But before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I've been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time, here is the problem. We're trying to determine this length, x, in a triangle where we have 3, 4, and x, and here is the work. All right, so feel free to pause the video or look at it, but uh, if you know what you're doing, you should have uh, immediately found at least one error because this work right here is not right. So as a math teacher that has graded tens of thousands of problems, it's very easy for me to look at this work and see exactly what this student knows and doesn't know. And the great thing about this work is that even though the solution is incorrect, it's nice and neat and organized, and this person is showing all the steps. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into what's wrong with this solution. Now, it appears that this student is trying to use the Pythagorean theorem which is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared to solve this triangle problem. So that's good. That is the right idea. However, there is a problem because you can only use this theorem when you have a right triangle. In other words, we need to know absolutely that this is 90 degrees. All right. So if we don't have a right triangle, we cannot use this theorem. Now, a lot of uh, people, including maybe yourself, could look at this triangle and assume that it is a right triangle because it looks like a right triangle. And this is a very kind of classic way that math teachers get people on test. They'll give you a figure that looks like one thing, but unless you know absolutely uh, that this is 90 degrees, you just can't make that assumption and use the Pythagorean theorem. So that is mistake number one. Okay, so we just can't, again, use a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared to solve this problem because you could have a triangle that maybe is like this. Maybe this side is 3 and this is 7. So to solve for this side right here, we would have to use other things like the law of sines and cosines. So again, you can only use the Pythagorean theorem when, in fact, you know that this is a right triangle. Now, if this was a right triangle, we would need this little notation, this little box in the corner, or we would need some other way to know that this uh, angle right here is 90 degrees. Okay, so that's error number one. But let's assume that this is a right triangle. Okay, we still have a problem here because uh, the Pythagorean theorem, again, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared would be the correct theorem to use to solve for this length right here. But this side right here, x, the longest side, of a right triangle is called the hypotenuse and it's opposite of the right angle and it's always c in terms of the pythagorean theorem okay so in other words this side right here could be a and this could be b but this longest side again the hypotenuse is always c so to solve for x here we need to set up this uh, uh, problem correctly and this problem is set up incorrectly okay so that's mistake number two because we have x squared plus uh, 3 squared is equal to 4 squared. The way to solve for x, assuming that this is a right triangle, 
is we would go three squared plus four squared is equal to C squared. Okay, so when you do all this math right here, you would have determined that this length would be five. Okay, so these are the two errors with this solution. And uh, just kind of um, something I really want to emphasize is uh, one great way to know if you are really understanding mathematics is to try to grade someone's work. Now, of course, you probably have no interest in becoming a math teacher, but you should try to grade your own work. Now, one thing that I always find amusing is uh, students who maybe turn in their homework or their test or quiz, and then, you know, they get it back. They look at their work and they go, boy, I can't even understand what I wrote. So for those of you that need to improve your neatness and organization, this is a big problem, by the way. It's a great start to get dramatic improvement in terms of your success in mathematics, right? Do not underestimate how important it is to be neat, organized, uh, to show all your steps in a math problem. Okay, so hopefully this little video helped you out. Now, if you need more help in geometry, I'm going to leave links to some uh, geometry courses in uh, the description of this video. Uh, of course, I have my full geometry course, but I do teach uh, other basic kind of level geometry uh, topics in my pre-algebra course and in my math skills rebuilder course. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.